what was the weight what was the weight cut like this time compared to cutting for 170 pounds having got bigger and sort of bringing yourself back down a little bit i did have i did got bigger yeah. but i have not as much as a weight to lose i never had a lot of weight to lose you know i'm, I'm not a fan of uh, of weight cutting the reason is i care more about my health than the performance health is number one and i think it, on the for to be to have a good longevity in the sport and also as a as my for my health it's important to do it the right way what do you expect the weight difference to be between the two of you when you step in tomorrow night i'm inspiring with guy that are 15 15 pounds heavier than me so i'm uh, 15 pounds maybe you're, you're really honest like you're you're honest you tell the truth a ton of the time that seems strange to a lot of people because most fighters say what they need to sell something or convince some people of something didn't notice that well, I, I try to be honest because it's uh, it's a sign of confidence. I don't need to lie about myself, you know, to lie about what is the truth. I don't need to convince myself of, of a wrong way. Yes, I'm going to be scared. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm, I'm confident at the same time. I'm excited. But all that, whatever, how I feel tomorrow night, I'm going to make that walk. And it's going to be a new, a new middleweight champion. Oh, yeah. Do you remember maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago, when you were thinking about it seriously, and then now here it is. Did, did you really yeah. see this, and did you know you were going to be standing there? Yeah, I cannot ask and I cannot ask for a better scenario. I'm, I'm very happy. Madison Square Garden, Michael Bisping. He's, he's Michael is great. He's a great fighter. He talk a lot of smack, but I have a lot of respect for him. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a lot of... Uh, He's got a great legacy, you know, behind him. He beat, he have beat the best, and he's got the most win in UFC history. So for me to take him out, it's, a, it's the biggest challenge of my life, and uh, that's why I'm doing it. You know, when someone says I can't do something, it's impossible. That's why it excites me, and I, I'm gonna do the the impossible, and I'm gonna win. What do you make of him? Say, uh, challenge of your life, but how do you replace that? Since like all the career you had till now, you know, why is the biggest challenge of your life? Biggest challenge of my life because I'm, I've been out for four years, never been done before, and I'm fighting a guy who's the champion in the higher weight class. I, I had to prepare myself for this. It took a long time because even in, as a welterweight, I'm not the bigger guy. Those guys are much bigger than me now in welterweight, so I had to. It's a good challenge. It's, it's, it's not good. It's the biggest challenge of my career. If, so that's why I'm doing it. If you were fighting a guy with four years layoff, would you put pressure on him right away? Do you think? Yeah, it could be, but I'm ready for that eventuality. My, my training partner, my, my training is. We try to make the training as much as the fight look like, so I'm ready for for this to him for him to coming straight at me. I'm ready for that. What do you feel you've learned from Freddie Roach, and does that mean you're going to stand you know stand and trade with Mike a little bit more than he might expect you to? Oh, and as I hear a British accent, so yeah. I, I will give away my I, w I will give away my game plan to you. <laughs> so I'm going to walk in the middle of the octagon and I'm going to anchor myself okay. and swing for the fans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you for that. No, 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 no. <laughs> So now Freddie is there because Michael's biggest strength is his striking. Of course, we all know this. He's a great kickboxer, and Freddie is there to help me for uh, to counter his main strength. You know, he's got. A, I think he's the best boxing trainer in the world, and he helped me. He's gonna help me uh, uh, to counter Ma Michael's main strength. I'm, I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Well, it looks like you're having a lot of fun this week. Do I you do. feel like there's just not the same pressure there was so you're towards the end of your your tenure, tenure before you took the four years off? It's not a lot of pressure. It's, 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 different pressure for me it's it, there is a pressure it's crazy pressure but I, I i strive towards pressure that's when i perform at my best it took you a while to get the whole promotional game intact but it seems the momentum starting to swing in your favor you yeah i was getting warm interview. up i was getting yeah, warm up yeah, a little bit more yeah yeah changes now. well, well it's, it, it, it's it's not it's not my first language uh, uh, but my english did get better over over time and uh, i'm just not good at, at disrespecting someone I'm not good at it so he's <laughs> better he's better than I am at this but towards the end of the interview I was doing better yeah, so more yeah more fun you know I, I don't like to scream profanity when I try to play in someone's when I like to play this game I don't like to scream profanity I try to conduct myself with, with honor and stuff but sometimes we have to you have to answer did you ever watch pro wrestling I did can you cut promos? I'm a can big you, big fan of pro wrestling <laughs> can you try to cut a promo Got a promo. Okay. I've, I, I, you mean you mean my favorite guys were I, I, Al Kogan. Rick Rude was the perfect villain. Yeah. Rick Rude used to come there, beat up a guy, then take a woman and say, "I'll show you what a what is a real man," and kiss a girl, and the girl fall unconscious. <laughs> One day he kiss a girl. The girl did not faint. And Ronnie Piper came and kiss a girl with the, the 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 same the same type of kiss, and the girl fell. And now they had a big beef because of it. It was hilarious. <laughs> It's gonna be a new 
Middleweight champion, Georges Saint Pierre. Oh yes, in Brazil. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the TV. <laughs> when, you hear, when you hear him say, question, "It's uh, you're just a jab and a double leg," is that playing right into what you? I'm I glad he thinks that, but I don't think he believes that. But I, I, I'm a good jab and good double leg, of course. But I have a lot of other things in my pocket that I can use. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Thanks, George. Enjoy. Thank Merci, you. George.